Hi, welcome back to Microcontroller and Embedded System Laboratory. Today we are going to discuss the next program and for the next program we need to have some theoretical background for this program. So we first move to the barrel shifter which is a unique and powerful feature of ARM processor which has an ability to shift 32-bit binary pattern in one of the source register left or to right by specified number of positions before it enters into the ALU. This shift increases the power and the flexibility of many data processing operation. To understand this barrel shift, we can have a move instruction being there. I'll explain about the move in the next few slides. Now the first move instruction where we can have n can be more than just a register or an immediate value. It can be a register RM that has been pre-processed by the barrel shifter prior being used by data processing instruction. The pre-processing instruction or the shift occurs within the same cycle time of the instruction. This is particularly useful for loading constants into the register and achieving fast multiplication or division by the power of 2. The different barrel shift operations are logical shift left, logical shift right, arithmetic shift right, rotate right, rotate right extended. Now in this program we are interested in rotate right so we will understand what is rotate barrel shift operation for a rotate right instruction. Whenever we have a rotate right instruction, the last LSB bit will be moved to the carry flag and then the LSB is again turned back to the MSB bit position. Now, to understand that, we associate with the move instruction, move S, where S is a suffix on data processing instruction and it updates the flag in the CPSR. We are trying to do the barrel shift operation on the value which is there in our RO register that is R0 register which is having the value as 3 and is a 32 bit number so we will represent that in binary number which is of 32 and it goes with 0011. On executing a rotate right instruction by one bit when this instruction is executed for the first time the last LSB will be moved to the carry flag. Again, the same bit position will come back to your MSB bit position. So after rotation, we have the values in this form, which is nothing but 8000001. Again, when the value is R0 is this number, when we perform the rotation for the next time, the LSB bit will go to the carry flag and it is being rotated back to your MSB. So it becomes 1100 and, it, and the remaining bits are going to be 0. And this in hexadecimal is called as C. Again, when this is the value which is there in my R0 register, if when you perform the rotate right instruction and then moving it back to your register R0, it performs the rotation. The 0 bit of the LSB will come to the carry flag and again this 0 bit will come back to MSB. Now the value is going to be 600. So n number of times whenever we do this move instruction being done, it rotates and then the rotated value will be moved back to the register R0 and also updates the CPSR flags. This is how the rotate instruction associated with the barrel instruction gets executed. 